up y'all welcome to another vlog today is saturday october 19th it is currently 3 14. <laughs> i do need to stop by target and do some pickups for myself i don't know if i'll take you all inside or not just because it's saturday on saturdays it's usually busy let's head to target we made it back from target i did not take y'all inside because it's saturday it was busy so we're gonna do a quick haul I needed some more body wash, so I actually got a double pack. I needed some new shampoo because I'm actually switching my brands. I've noticed the Aussie does not work as well on my longer hair as it did on my short hair. The Dew is rather pricey, but also it's hard for me to find it on ground. So in lieu of me ordering it online, I picked up this Garnier Whole Blends Honey Treasures. And I just got the dual pack of the shampoo and the conditioner. These bottles are 12.8 ounces, so should be worth it. I think this duo was like $8.99 or $9.99. So I'm interested, interested to see how this works on my hair. I also picked up some more of the Pacifica Vitamin C Serum. I do not like the Good Molecules brand's Vitamin C. Um, it just doesn't... Um, layer well on my skin so this is one of my regulars I also got some refresh eye drops this is what I normally get the omega-3s I went to a dip the target by my job last week they didn't have this one so I went to the target by my house today thank god they had them they actually only had two left so Pacifica sheet face mask we got that one and then I also got their bright eye under eye mask I like these I got something different I believe it's Q Bella or K Bella I'm not sure but it's a detoxifying charcoal peel off mask I haven't done a peel off in a while so I'm interested to try this and it's also vegan so We'll see. I need to re-up on my Nespresso pods, but while I was in Target, I just picked up this Starbucks 10-pack of Espresso. Um, it's the Blonde Roast. I do like the Starbucks Blonde Roast, so I just picked these up because I realized that I, I really need to order some. I think, let me see. This is my last box of the Malazio, and... I want to say there's like six left in here and by the time I order some and they get here I may have one or two left I don't want to risk running out because there are days when I do have two cups of coffee especially on my days off so yes I got the small Starbucks box well not small but it's 10 which is what comes in these but these are more expensive like when you buy them out of the store they cost more this was like 12 bucks you get three boxes of these for like 34 something like that but anyway um needed some nespresso pods for those nespresso pods nespresso capsules whatever you call them i got a container for them i've been wanting to get a container to put them in i just hadn't taken the time to look but today while i was in target i thought i'd go by um the container aisle i guess you could say and so it does have like a seal lip I thought that this would be a good option to store them in. I think it's big enough. I don't think I need anything bigger. I think even with the three boxes, I think all three should fit in here because the three boxes stacked on each other. They kind of take up a lot of space in the pantry. The last thing I got was two bags of the Skinny Pop popcorn. You guys know this is my favorite. Here's the other bag. Those are my target pickups for today i really wanted to go on a hike today the weather is absolutely gorgeous considering we've had a few days of like overcast a little cool real fall like um so i was feeling a little dreary but girlfriend i am tired you hear me i am exhausted working two jobs is a bit much kudos to those of you that do um i will update you all on the new job 
here shortly maybe not today but maybe tomorrow when i can sit down and chit chat with you um i just kind of want to relax um i think i'm going to make this um vegan stir fry from trader joe's for dinner if you, my voice is cracking that's that's because i'm tired <laughs> so please excuse how i sound but i don't want to keep rambling and babbling but sis is tired i don't know if i'm going to pick the camera back up again today but this is it. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Yep. Yeah. All right. Good morning, y'all. It's Sunday, October 20th. It's currently 846. We're getting ready for church, but we're actually going to have our breakfast first. I cleaned out that container that I purchased yesterday for my Nespresso capsules. So I'm going to put those in the container and I actually think I'm going to have one of the um, Starbucks espresso shots versus a regular coffee. I feel like I need a true pick-me-up. Working six days a week is no joke. And like I said yesterday, I'll have a sit down with you all and talk about that um, either today or later this week. I'm not exactly sure. Um, the schedule is tight. So anyway, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. So here's the container. I did clean it out yesterday. So we're just going to fill it up, like I said, with the Nespresso capsules. Oh, it might not fit all three containers. So I don't know how I feel about this now. I thought it would be big enough to fit like all three um boxes once i do purchase the three boxes like i normally do off of amazon i guess it won't i'm gonna go ahead and make my coffee and my breakfast which i'm only gonna have cereal and uh es nespresso shot espresso nespresso nespresso is the machine espresso is the coffee shot and so again this is the one i purchased yesterday in target One thing I know, these Starbucks um, espresso shots, mm, they don't give you the almost three ounces as the Nespresso brand does, but this is with the uh, milk and creamer added, but it literally gives you like an ounce. <laughs> and I'm like, what the heck? I usually get more out of my Nespresso brand capsules of espresso shots. So I won't be buying the Starbucks brand for real like I think I'm just gonna have to wait for my coffee um, once it gets here through Amazon but anyway I'm gonna have my breakfast and get ready for church because it's late sorry about the noise in the background that's my son putting dishes away so yeah I'll see y'all in a little bit What is up y'all we are back from church this is what i wore today some green khakis cargos and i wore my church shirt today As you can see the logo i just wore my brown shades these are actually from h m i think i got them this summer around july maybe even august but anyway i like them a lot and yeah, I'm just wearing some basic jewelry, my necklace that I tend to wear all the time. My earrings are some small hoops and then my bracelet that I got last year from Amazon. And so you all can see, I'm gonna pan around so you can see the back of my shirt. Here's the front logo. So this is one of our, <laughs> this is one of our church shirts and I just chose to wear it today because I really, really, really need to get some church clothes for these cooler months. And hopefully I can go shopping 
I'm thinking this week maybe or next weekend I'm not sure but I will keep you all posted and you guys will actually come along with me for that so I need to go to the market today I'm going to go to Vons and Trader Joe's I don't know how much of that I will bring you all along for but I will definitely haul wherever I pick up what up y'all we back in the house from the grocery store we went to vines oh that's a horrible angle we just got back from vines we're gonna unbag the groceries i think it's been a couple weeks since i've actually shared pickups so i'm gonna sit you guys down i'm actually putting you down on a mason jar because i don't feel like going upstairs to get my tripod this is going to have to work <laughs> something new that I picked up it's a vegan spinach and cheese ravioli it's made with organic spinach vegan ricotta style cheese and tomatoes so I'm interested to see how this tastes Amy's brand her vegan meals are usually pretty good so I'm thinking this is gonna be a hit but I'll come back and share my Vons pickups I actually don't think I'm gonna go to Traders because I think I picked up everything that we need maybe next week I'll go to Traders but I'm pretty stocked on quite a few items um, that I use regularly like uh, my coffee creamer milk and for some reason I've been in the cold cereal lately and it was either last week or the week before I had picked up another box of cereal from Trader Joe's so yeah <laughs> movie is over it was actually really good i watched the movie that i said i was going to watch last week which was wolves on apple tv plus it has brad pitt and george clooney in it it was really good it did start off slow because i did start watching it last night but it was a little slow so i was like mm, let me come back to it i will say that the script not a lot of talking only when it was needed it was funny it was a really good movie i'll say watch it i would probably give it a four out of five stars just because it was a little slow and then I think it was longer than it needed to be but other than that it was a really good movie if you have Apple TV plus check it out I don't think you'll regret watching it so it was a nice way to kind of chill out this Sunday afternoon because I did want to go to the movies but I was going to go see Hocus Pocus or there was another movie that I wanted to see although Hocus Pocus is an old movie but it's Halloween time so anyway um the movies were starting later in the day like 6 and 8 p.m and yeah I didn't want to be out that late so I will try again another day if not I'll just watch it at home so
y'all today is monday october 21st it is 10 a.m we just left pete's coffee i'm actually still in the parking lot um i thought i would catch up with you all really quickly before i get my day started doing all the things so i came to pete's to do some editing this morning but first things first i quit I quit my MA job and let me tell you why I'm gonna make it short and sweet I don't want to bash the office or the doctor however I had to stand on business one day I was asked if I was an MA or if I was just saying I was an MA and I keep all my receipts so I had um, pictures of my certifications and my completion of my course on my phone so I showed it to the person but I was like but you're not the person that hired me you know what I mean but but don't attack me and my character my integrity none of that because I will prove to you <laughs> trust me I will prove to you one way or the other it wasn't just that it was a couple of other little things that just didn't sit well with me and I feel like for it to be a part-time job and I'm making less than what I'm making at my full-time job uh -uh. nothing against the doctor but some of her staff and the fact that at times they would be speaking Spanish and girl I understand Spanish. Thankfully, none of it was malicious or about me. But at the same time, it's like, that's rude. Yeah, that's it. Now we're about to back to square one. Yeah, I think I'm just going to look for a full-time MA job and not something part-time. But also, that was kind of like, it was really slow, but slower than I expected it to be. Like, the office. And I was catching on really quickly, surprisingly. <laughs> but um, I do need something a little bit faster paced. And also, I need something with some benefits. Something full time because I really do want to leave the med tech world. And really dive into the MA world. So I went to school. That's what I spent my hard earned money for. I paid cash for that out of my pocket. I'm done with this rant about the part time MA job. I said all that to say guys listen you don't have to stay anywhere you don't want to. Anywhere you don't feel comfortable please walk away from it. Don't keep thinking that it's going to change or whatever whatever. It may very well change but nine times out of ten it don't because people are who they are and I believe in the saying when people show you who they are believe them the first time so nowadays it only take one time that's it that's all we're done <laughs> and I don't really feel any kind of way about it I'm glad I'm not stressed about it anymore I was professional I did not send her a text message like hey I quit I actually went into the office this morning turned in my hours and had a quick five minute sit down with her I only gave her a couple of reasons why I was walking away but the main reason was that someone questioned me being a medical assistant said all that to say like yeah don't don't feel like you have to hold on to something just because God has something else for you don't believe that God has something else in store for you and what you think is meant for you is not always for you and you have to know when to walk away I prayed on it. I prayed on it. Like after my first week of training, and then this is going to be it. After my first week of training, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm looking at my surroundings because I'm in this parking lot. But after my first week of training, I really was contemplating if this was the job for me truly because I was struggling with adjusting my schedule, working six days a week. I don't need to work six days a week. I don't need two jobs. One job will suffice for me. So, um, after thinking about that piece of it, my personal things happening, and then also thinking about the job itself, the training, the office, and then the little slick remark from the co-worker, you know, everything just, it, it was just like, we're done, you know, like I prayed about it. Of course, I um, consulted with my heavenly father but I also consulted with one of my nurses and 
Yeah, I, I've had plenty of confirmations. So I just said all that to say, don't stay anywhere longer than you need to. You have free will to move around in this world as you so choose to. God has given you that. So walk, walk in your God-given rights. <laughs> um, yeah, we are not bound by anything. So I'm going to let this go now. I'm going to leave it here. In the vlog, we're done. I'm not going to talk about it anymore this is it that's all i already prayed about it For um, yeah, sure. a, you have a Honda, Nissan, or Kia. I have a Kia. Okay, and has it been here before for service? No. No. Okay. Did you purchase it here? No, but it's for a safety recall. Okay. So I have no problem. I can definitely help you with that. What we do need is your VIN number. Do you have your VIN number available? Yes. I need to eat some lunch, y'all. So I think I'm going to try this today. I told y'all I'll bring y'all along and show y'all what I thought about it. So let's see. The microwave is done, but the instructions say to let it sit for a minute. It's sat. I'm going to take the first bite with you all to let you know how it tastes. Again, this is the Amy's Vegan Spinach and Cheese Raviolis. That's what it looks like out of the microwave. It smells good. Honestly, I'm scared. <laughs> Vegan things sometimes are not what you think they're going to be. So it does kind of look like the picture. This is hot. So you can see the spinach. It's all right. It needs salt, it needs something. I don't know what. So I'm gonna add some oregano and a little bit of salt to it. And first taste, I will probably give it out of five stars. I'm gonna say three. It's I. Right. it ain't all that. Um, will I get it again? I don't know, maybe. I'm gonna enjoy this meal off camera. And I will see y'all later. What's good, y'all? It's Friday, October 25th. It is currently 3.38 p.m. First game of the World Series. I'm so excited because I'm a Yankees fan in Dodger land. It's cool. I like the Dodgers too, but only when they're not playing my Yankees. But anyway, I came on to actually close the vlog out. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you for joining the community. Um, please don't forget to comment down below so we can engage, have those conversations. Any questions you may have, drop them down in the comments. Thank you for all the things. Again, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you next week. I got to get some things done before the game start. Literally in like an hour and a half. I'll catch up to y'all later. Peace.